Welcome Raiders to a very special Raid Shadow Legends and D&D lore stories. This is episode one, The Village. Now, far up in the mountains, it was a very cloudy day in Teleria, when all of a sudden, a red sacred shard slowly falls from the sky near the top, top of the mountains in the land of rebirth. It shatters and a giant shadow-like creature of void descent is summoned. And in that moment, it regains all of its memories of its origins. This powerful shadow named the Dark One, Seroth, was now born into the lands of Teleria. His energy spread across the lands slowly manipulating and controlling anything in its path. Months went by, and there was a very famous family of Telerians that lived among the nearby villagers. A man named Alanis the Divine also known as Athos' father, a woman named Gianna, Athos' mother, and a young warrior named Lumina, inspired after the goddess of light that the family that the family follows in service of Lumaya. Our story continues in the village of Lumina, which was named by Alanus the Divine. When he had arrived in this village with Gianna, the villagers were being attacked and tortured by demon spawn. He prayed and fought in the service of Lamaya and rid them. And in return, the villagers allowed him to become the leader and choose the name, the new name of this village. In honor of his new baby daughter, he named the town Lumina. One day, Athel was outside practicing her new battle tactics, using her newfound weapon that was handed down by her father. A weapon that's not only sword, but also spear to resemble the Sacred Order and Bannerlord mixture. Lumina was inside the house preparing food for the, for the night for the family. She was running around with her newfound dagger that her debtor had given her. And Gianna was, of course, scolding her to not be doing that indoors. As Lumina's running around in circles in the house and barely just, you know, <laughs> almost destroying different potteries and stuff like that, it, she looked out the window and she saw in the distance, this dark cloud hovering above the air, slowly moving towards her sister. So she rushed outside, busted the door open, barely slips and screams Athel's name. In that moment, Athel take, does a full 180 
and sees the cloud of shadowless energy. Void descent, by the way. Fly right past her face. And then... Right, it consumes her sister, goes inside her. Her sister instantly collapse. As Athel runs to her sister, grabs her by the arms, screams her father's name. He was outside in the back, so he comes around the house. The mother comes down the steps, and they both see Lumina slowly passing away. In that moment, Alanis the Divine grabbed his weapon and said, I need to head for a potion. I need to travel to Kara Castle to ask the Banner Lords and their king, Tabia, to help us. He left. That night, Athol, Gianna, and Lumina were all together near the bedside. Lu, uh, Gianna had told Athel that she was going to be right back and collect some herbs from the outside of the village to see if that could help aid Lumina's situation. Athel agreed, waited for her mother to return. The next morning, her mother never returned. Three days later, Athel's sister dies in her arms. And all that she has left is her sister, her sister's weapon to remember by. The small dagger given to Lamaya by her father, Alanis the Divine. So now, Al Athel is alone, and she travels to the Carrick Castle to find her father, and hopefully one day find her mother.